Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss the differences between buying an under construction property and ready to move in property. So let's start. Possession For possession of under construction property, buyers have to wait for 3 to 5 years depending on the project schedule. On the other hand, one of the best advantages of buying a ready made property is immediate possession. As soon as the payment and documentation is done, you can occupy it and start living there. This also saves you from double burden of paying your rent and pre-possession EMIs in case you are getting the home purchase financed. EMI and rent. In case of under construction property, you have to pay the EMI as well as rent. For example, suppose you have purchased under construction property of 50 lakh rupees and you are paying an EMI of 40,000 rupees per month and you are living in a rented house where you have to pay a rent of 10,000 rupees per month, then your total expenses shall be 50,000 rupees per month. Whereas in case of ready to move in property, you just have to pay your EMIs. Payment The prices of under construction properties are lower than ready to move in properties. While purchasing under construction property, you have to make a down payment of 10 to 30 percent of the principal amount and the remaining amount is to be paid in the form of easy monthly installments as per the schedule of construction. In case of under construction property, usually there are several payment plans for buyer such as construction linked plan, down payment plan, 3070 plan, 2080 scheme and many more. You may choose according to your personal convenience. Here you get a time span of 2 to 3 years for making a total payment. Whereas the prices of ready to move in property are more and there is no flexibility in payment. You will have to make a total payment in 2 to 3 months time. Generally the payment needs to be done in one go which includes down payment, registration charges, stamp duty etc. and rest amount has to be paid in the EMIs. The cost of ready made property is generally 20 to 30 percent higher as compared to under construction property. Returns on investment in case of under construction property, during the construction stage, the prices increase at faster rate as the construction progresses. If the property is sold closer to possession, there is a good chance of earning a healthy appreciation on the capital investment. It is mostly seen that new constructions are done mostly in developing peripheral zones. In order to have the benefits of price appreciation or increase in the price, you should do a basic study about the proposed and ongoing development in the surrounding neighborhood and their status before finally buying a property. Let us take an example. Suppose you have purchased under construction property at the rate of 4000 rupees per square feet in 2019 and after 3 years that is in 2022 the building is getting completed. So if you sell your property in 2022 then you will get a rate of 7000 rupees per square feet. Whereas in case of ready to move in property, the rate is already as per market standard. Hence there is no room for rate appreciation. It means if you are purchasing ready to move in property in 2019, then the rate is already at 6000 rupees per square feet. And in next 3 years, if you sell the property in 2022, then the rate shall go up to 7000 rupees per square feet. So if you invest in under construction property, then you will get more returns as compared to ready to move in property. Risk. There is high risk involved when it comes to investing in an under construction project. There have been cases when the builder has failed to deliver on time and in severe cases failed to deliver at all due to various reasons such as funding crunch, rise in the cost of construction materials, land disputes, new regulatory policies, incomplete permissions from authorities, builders filing for bankruptcy, etc. It is thus imperative to do a detailed background check of the builder before investing in an under construction project. Whereas ready to move in property involves low risk. Ready to move in property don't have the hassles of delays or issues during construction as the end product is ready and the home buyer just have to take possession after completing required payment and documentation. Various choices an under construction property offers its buyers a variety of options to choose from on the basis of unit size, floor rise, direction of apartment, etc. In case of ready to move in property, you will have limited number of choices. When you have decided to move into a house where you have furniture and fixtures ready, 
This may save your time for buying a new furniture. But if you already have your own set of furniture, in that case, it can be problematic. Buyers also need to decide quickly if there is hurry in part of the seller. Modification As per the needs and requirements of an individual, few developers allow the customization to some extent during the construction stage, including choice of finishes. If you want to modify your kitchen, tiles in the rooms, toilet, you can tell the builder before the construction of your flat starts. Of course, this option may vary from project to project and developer to developer. In case of ready to move in property, if you want to refurbish the entire home, then it may take higher expenses. In many cases, it becomes mostly impossible. Discrepancy in the final product Many times in case of under construction property, you don't get what is promised. When you buy an under construction flat, you are only shown sample flats and the one you will eventually move into may not have the same qualities. Sometimes no adequate storage space is provided or lesser usable area is provided than promised or the layout gets changed without your approval. The main advantage of buying a ready to move in property is you get what you see as you can see the quality of work on which you will be investing. The quality of the materials used that is tiles, sanitary fittings like taps, wash basin, WC, kitchen slab and sink, electrical switches, paint, polish, doors, handles, balcony grills can be checked. As your housing unit is ready and there are people living there already, you can get feedback about the area, maintenance, locality, shopping and utility centers. Neighborhood and Community In case of under construction property, you will not get the information of neighbors. Whereas in case of ready to move in property, the buyer can check the neighbors and the infrastructure in the vicinity of the house before buying the property. Maintenance charges. In case of under construction property, there is no clarity on maintenance charges. Initially, the developer or builder takes some amount from the buyer as the maintenance charge and the builder creates a corpus fund for maintenance of the project for a stipulated time frame, which may vary from one project to another. After the possession of the property, a society is formed in order to take care of the maintenance, which decides the actual maintenance charges that a property owner or buyer has to pay to them. Hence there is no clarity on maintenance charges till one finally occupies the flat or the society is formed. On the other hand, in case of ready to move in property, there is full clarity on maintenance charges. Tax Benefits In case of under construction property, the tax benefits will start only after possession. If you are buying the under construction property as your first house and if there is delay in getting the possession due to any reason. You should be ready to pay the EMIs without getting tax redemption along with the rent which can be quite frustrating and hectic on your wallet. During the construction period, whatever interest is deducted that can be claimed after possession for next 5 consecutive years under section 24. In case of ready to move in property, as per the income tax act, a borrower can claim deduction under section 80c against principal repayment of a home loan which has an overall limit of 1.5 lakh rupees and up to 2 lakh rupees for payment of interest under section 24b for a self-acquired house. GST Implication In case of under construction property, the payment of GST is an additional financial liability for you. Since April 2019, affordable homes priced under 45 lakh rupees attract 1% GST and above 45 lakh rupees 5% GST shall be applicable on total cost of property. Earlier it was 8% and 12% respectively. Stamp duty and registration charges will have to be paid separately resulting in heavy expenditure on taxes. Whereas in case of ready to move in properties which have been issued the completion certificate are left out of the ambit of the GST. Means a buyer will not have to pay any GST while purchasing ready to move in property. Inclusion and Exclusion from RERA From 1st May 2017, it has become mandatory for any property with occupancy certificate to be registered under the respective states of RERA, Relisted Regulation and Development Act. If any buyer wants to know whether the property falls under the RERA or not, they can get the information from the RERA website of respective state. Ready to move apartments with occupancy certificates are kept out of the purview of the RERA. 
Age of property. Under construction property is a brand new home. The location of the under construction apartment comes with the latest infrastructure and scope of modernization. Whereas any location which has a ready to move apartments would be at least 5 to 10 years old. Hence if it has not been maintained properly it might start looking old. Also the chances of upliftment and modernization of surrounding area is not possible. Quality of security guards and maintenance staff. In case of under construction property, you cannot get an idea about the quality of security guards and maintenance staff as you will be getting the possession after 3 to 5 years. Whereas in case of ready to move in property, quality of security guards and maintenance staff can be assessed. Effect of RERA. Before implementation of RERA, developers used to give a deadline of 3 years for under construction projects. But after implementation of RERA, developers are expected to adhere to timelines. So most developers have listed a deadline of 5 to 6 years from now on the website for their projects. As per the survey conducted by one of the reputed property consultant in real estate consumer outlook survey, only 5% of current property seekers consider under construction projects. 49% prefer to buy ready to move in properties and 46% look for the projects that will be completed within a year. So friends, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.